Oh my goodness, you know, I mean, uh, we still have great players. We have uh, Andy Reid and uh, a, a great coach. And I tell you, I was listening to uh, Dante Hall talk on uh, on TV, I think it was yesterday or, or two days ago, and everything he said, I agree with, you know, and he was saying that the only two, two things that we miss from last year's Super Bowl, what we wanted, is uh, Eric Bieniemy and Juju, the receiver. And uh, without that, you know, we're still the same team, you know, we're still the same team, but we are so, we're making a lot of mistakes. Our receivers are dropping passes. Mahomes is still the same quarterback that we had last year. And he's still playing his heart off. Um, but we're just not getting it done. And um, I don't know. I don't know. He said some things that, you know, I agree with. And he said that uh, Eric Bieniemy was there to hold, hold everybody accountable. And uh, now that he's gone, that uh, if the players don't have him to hold them accountable, um, which I think I agree with in a way, but I am not there to see it, see if it's true or not. We can just speculate, you see. And uh, knowing Andy Reid, he knows what's right for his team. So I, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, hopefully this weekend they're going to turn it around. If they turn it around this week, uh, going into the playoffs will be okay. But that's what I said last week, you know, and we fell to the Raiders. Um, uh, we'll see what happens. You see, you know, and especially in social media age and, and all these sports talk shows and pundits, people people weighing in on Travis and the whole Taylor Swift saga and all the attention that's getting. Any correlation there? Distraction at all? Or or let 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 him play football? Taylor Swift is not on the field. You know, Travis is Travis is playing like he always plays, and teams are just you're doubling up on him now, knowing that our receivers are dropping the balls, you know? So when you double up on him and uh, he can't get the ball to him, uh, it's a problem. You see, beginning of the season, he was catching a lot of balls and then all, all of a sudden teams figured out if they can double him up uh, and then uh, uh, hold uh, Mahomes in the pocket, everything will be all right for them. And that's what they're doing. But if it was our receivers, the ones that we have now, if they can walk a little harder and get open, maybe Mahomes, we can have an outlet. But right now, he's not having that outlet. Literally, there are people writing stories that, that Taylor is turning into Yoko Ono with, with this Chiefs team and splitting them up. You don't see it that way. It's, no. it's good publicity, and the NFL, I'm sure, loves it as well. She's a huge yeah. star. Yeah, NFL loves it. Everybody loves it. I love it. Taylor Swift fans love it. Chiefs fans love it. He, she has nothing to do with how the teams are doing right now. But, you know, when you're doing bad, people have to find excuses and they have to point fingers, especially those that don't like the situation about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Those people are pointing fingers and making it up right now. So um, I have to tell you they're wrong. Two more games left. Um, and then when the real season starts, the postseason. Confident? Does your gut tell you that this team, they've been there before when it – Turn when the games count, they'll turn it on and it'll be the same old Chiefs. Oh, yeah, I think so. I think so because we're still capable, we have good defense, and now we have better defense this year than we did last year. And last year, we won the Super Bowl. So, if we're playing that well on the, on the defensive side, we just do, need to do a little bit better in the offense in order to succeed. So, um, this weekend, I'm sure the coach is telling them that. I'm sure Andy Reid is telling them, say, look, you know. We're a better team this year because our defense is playing better. We just need to catch the ball. We just need to get open. We need to work a little bit harder for Patrick Mahomes to deliver the ball. If people aren't aware, the Nigerian nightmare, my journey out of Africa to the Kansas City Chiefs and beyond, it's out now. You're doing signings. If people don't know what the book is about, your story is amazing. Tell, tell everybody about it, though. Well, you said it, my story, it's, it's all about my story. Um, growing up in Nigeria, going through... Um, Civil War and getting into sports and um, um, of course uh, uh, transitioning from track and field. I was playing soccer growing up and then uh, got into track and field when I was growing bigger and bigger, and then eventually came to United States to go to college. And my main goal was to go in the, uh, to the Olympics in '84, 
um, when I, I couldn't go to the Olympics because Nigeria helped me out, um, I decided to, I'm going to play football because my friends have been bugging me to play, not knowing anything about the game. I keep saying no to them. But uh, when I couldn't go to the Olympics, I decided, okay, I'm going to play football. And from there, it worked out pretty good. Yes, it did. It worked out pretty good. And um, I was uh, invited to the Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, got there, and I was kind of like confused because I've only played three years of football, organized football. And um, uh, luckily, I did very well. I scored four touchdowns. And um, after Senior Bowl, uh, every team just came calling. And Chiefs came the most, and um, they were very interested, and they drafted me in the second round. You see all these success stories. If you had to turn back the clock, would you still have rather been like an Olympic runner? Because you, the NFL thing worked out pretty good for you. I know. I love track and field so bad. You know, I love this so much. And, um, you know, I, uh, it, as a matter of fact, I was going to go back and compete in, in, in track and field still. But, uh, you know, when you play football, it, it, uh, it does a lot of damage on your body. So I didn't get to go back. So little football experience and to get to the level that you got. What message does this send? Your story to anybody, whether football or anything in life, that you can accomplish anything, right? Well, yeah, if, if you work hard, you can accomplish anything. And first of all, having a goal in mind to shoot for always helps. And when you have a goal to shoot for, and then um, you work on the planning to get there, and on the way getting there is hard work. So planning and hard work, now working hard is extremely important. And um, that's what I did. And uh, also having some people, good people that want you to do well around you helps. Because I did have many, many, many people around me that helped me out. Uh, without them, I don't think I could have made it. But uh, they, they were encouraging me and uh, putting me, pointing me to the right directions. And um, great coaches along the way, so, and teammates. Wanted to ask you about one of the great coaches, the, the forward written by Bruce Arians. I actually had to look that up today, and I'm a football guy, and I I didn't remember that he was your your running backs coach. So you guys still have a good relationship, I imagine. Yeah, Bruce Arians, he's a he's a good man. You know, I, I mean, players love to play for him. You know, that tells you the kind of coach he is, the kind of man he is. Um, he's black and white. He tells you like it is. You know, if you do wrong, he will yell at you. If you do well, he will hug you. You know, so he's that that type of guy, and I love him for that. You and it was you want to see the Chiefs win, but I'm sure you were very happy when he got finally took him forever to become head coach and to yeah. go on and win the Super Bowls. It, it was a good ending to his career. Yes, yes. You know, sometimes people don't like you when you when you're a straight shooter. You know, and uh, some people get offended. I, I think that's what happened to him, and it, it took him a while, but he got to where he wanted to get to, and I was I'm very very happy for him. One more time, uh, the book, can people get it? You know, come to check it out wherever books are sold. Yes, yes, they can get it from Amazon, mainly Amazon, and um, and they will get to you. You can go to my website, which is christianacoya.com. You can get it there, too. Um, uh, uh, Barnes & Noble have, have it, too, and some of other uh, bookstores. But the main places are Amazon and the christianacoya.com.